How's it going everyone? First of all, I want to say hope you guys had a very good holiday, a, a good Christmas, all that good stuff. If you don't celebrate, I'm sure a lot of you guys are on your holiday break and you're chilling out for the week or so. A lot of my boys have just Monday off and then they're right back to work, which is a little bit unfortunate. Then some of my friends have the entire week off. I'm chilling for the entire week, so uh, hopefully you guys got some free time. And if nothing else, hopefully you had a good weekend and spend some time with your loved ones. And if you don't have any loved ones, well, hopefully... Hopefully you had some nice time in isolation or whatever you did over the weekend. Nonetheless, want to talk about a couple things, give you guys an update on the PlayStation Store because I saw a lot of comments coming in yesterday uh, when we uploaded a PlayStation Store sale video. We had that video recorded and edited and ready to go for Sunday. And uh, I wasn't responding to a lot of those comments. So I want to give you guys an update on that because wild stuff was happening as far as that's concerned. And I want to give you guys an update on a couple of PlayStation exclusives. We'll get to that in a little bit. But yes, the PlayStation Store yesterday went down for literally hours. And we got a ton of comments on our deals videos. Um, the one we uploaded yesterday and the ones from a couple days ago uh, that everybody was like, yo, what are you talking about? These sales, the, the PlayStation Store isn't even live right now, etc etc we can't apparently what was going on is a lot of people were trying to add games to their cart and just getting error messages they couldn't check out etc etc at this point the playstation store is currently back up i am on the store right now i went on this morning literally as i'm recording this video i am looking at the playstation store right now bear in mind i am on the browser my playstation 5 is in the uh is not on right now so i'm not looking there but on the browser everything's good to go you can sign in you can add stuff to your cart and i've been browsing that so unfortunate situation apparently this happens every year so maybe I haven't been, you know, mindful of that fact, but you know, you have to know what to expect, and I've been saying this in previous videos. During the holiday period, especially Christmas Day, people are getting their PlayStation consoles. They might be getting PlayStation credit. They're going on to the store. They're trying to buy games. You know, the whole family's getting together. They've got their console. They're trying to buy Modern Warfare 2. I guarantee you that's the game everybody was trying to buy. And um, I've been seeing a lot of memes on social media about people getting MW2 from 2009, which is absolutely hilarious. I highly doubt uh, anybody was dumb enough to actually get MW2 2009 unless it was just a complete troll job but nonetheless MW2 obviously being one of those games that people were looking to pick up and I know like you guys have your opinion on Call of Duty but like from what I could tell anecdotally speaking um everybody that i know that was getting a ps5 like modern warfare 2 was at the top of their priority list as far as the game they wanted to get we're talking about hyper casual so you know obviously cod's gonna be right up their alley and nothing against mw2 again i had a lot of fun with it i literally have put like 80 hours into that game which is like absolutely disgusting for me because i have to complete games and like my backlog and um you know putting 80 hours into mw2 is not helping with that but nonetheless um yeah, the PlayStation Store is live back right now. I got some interesting videos planned to continue covering the sale. I want to look at deals above the price of $10, of course, because it seems like I always restrict myself to that budget threshold, but some of you guys probably got some bread to spend, so... You know, maybe you're looking at an Elden Ring. Maybe you're looking at, uh, I don't know, a Sonic Frontiers, etc., etc. So we're going to be covering that, but also I'm going to be covering some uh, more niche stuff. We got some we got some cool stuff planned. Hopefully doing some different stuff with the PlayStation Store sales uh, and coverage of that that will hopefully uh, persist into 2023. No promises, but fingers crossed on that. All right, moving on from that. Do want to cover a couple of things as far as PlayStation exclusives go. Death Stranding 2 and a new first person shooter from Sony are reportedly to be released in 2024. Now, you have to take these release windows with very much a grain of salt. This is coming from the PlayStation Studios visual artist characters Frank Alberti on the ArtStation website who managed to work on both titles. This is coming from PCGameAbout.com and the upcoming first person shooter mentioned on the page is most likely engaged in Firewalk Studios which concluded an exclusive agreement with Sony Interactive Entertainment in 2021 to release a triple A first class multiplayer title under them. Now, the official statement notes, Founded in 2018, Firewalk Studios is led by Tony Hsu, uh, studio head, previously GM and SVP of Destiny at Activision, and Ryan Ellis, game director, previously creative director at Bungie, and Elena... 
Siegman, executive producer previously at Harmonix, Rational Games, and Bungie. So a lot of Bungie alumni a part of this team. The team includes a deep roster of highly talented developers who have helped drive, uh, deliver top-selling, culturally impactful titles, including the Destiny franchise, where all three leads worked successfully together on both development and publishing, as well as Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Mass Effect, and Halo. This collected expertise allows this team to focus on delivering a rich multiplayer game experience rooted in great core gameplay and inspired art. Firewalk continues to recruit top talent for its team, which is built on collaboration, inclusion, and respect. So, um, I've been saying for a long, long time that Sony desperately needs compelling, high-quality multiplayer shooters. That's really the area where they are completely fumbling the bag. Like, I give Sony a lot of credit. They've done banger single-player title after banger single-player title. Like, whenever you get a year where you're dropping Horizon Forbidden West and God of War... That is a winner of a year. Like, you cannot take anything away from a single-player standpoint what Sony has offered. Those are two top-tier titles. Good on them. But they are severely lacking from a multiplayer standpoint. And it's obvious this is an area that Sony is going to work on. They're going to make better. So hopefully that will be something you ultimately see come to fruition. And a first-person shooter, like, when I think FPS and when I think PlayStation, obviously I'm going to flock towards Killzone. I really think we can put all this to bed if we just remaster Killzone 2, give it a multiplayer server, uh, give it a multiplayer server, and just let us be. 60 frames per second. Yo, I am all on board. We don't need any new shooters like just give me killzone 2 let me give me a way to relive 2009 all over again with killzone 2 unfortunately i don't know if that's gonna happen but i think a lot of people would be all over that and it's kind of surprising that that's not something sony has done at least to like bridge the gap like to do a killzone 2 remaster probably wouldn't be that colossal of an undertaking and you could put that out charge 40 dollars for it or whatever people will buy it people will play it for a while and you know bridge the gap until you do a compelling new multiplayer title but it's obvious that sony is completely committed to eventually rolling out multiplayer titles. I believe they said they got 20 live service games in development or something to that effect and that's to be released by 2025. Um, you know, 20 sounds like a gargantuan number, but you also have to take into account that a lot of these are gonna fail. You you have to go into the mindset when you're dropping that many games that a bunch of them are gonna fail. What you really need to do is have two to three of them stick and those games will generate perpetual revenue for you for the long term. That's really the idea of constantly, you know, throwing darts at the board with live service titles and I would imagine that's their ultimate MO. As far as Death Stranding 2 goes, I am really curious to see the reception of that game because Death Stranding inherently had a lot of buzz and it was definitely a game that people looked at as a bit of a mixed bag. It was a little off the wall, a little bit wacky, a little bit zany, and not everybody vibe with it. I thought it was a very, very compelling and unique game and we need, uh, we need more unique titles in gaming in general and I thought Death Stranding was awesome and I constantly recommend it to people, but I understand if people can't get into it and you know, just the Kojima style of narrative uh, probably isn't everybody's cup of tea. Like, I've talked to people that didn't really vibe with Metal Gear, and that's, like, wild to me. Like, I think Metal Gear is one of the best gaming franchises of all time, and I know people that just didn't vibe with Metal Gear. It's just, for whatever reason, they couldn't get into it, and I find that, like, shocking. But nonetheless, that's just kind of what you're going to get. But Kojima titles are always going to have an inherent level of interest. I just don't know if Death Stranding 2 is going to have that same level of buzz that the original one had just because the original one was a little bit divisive. Maybe I'm wrong about that. We'll ultimately see how that turns out if it is going to drop in 2024. That would be a fairly quick turnaround for the game, but I imagine the game is relatively, you know, progressing smoothly in development, but we'll see how that turns out. But that's going to do it for me. Again, the PlayStation Store is currently back up. Went down yesterday. I saw a lot of talk about that, but don't worry. You should be able to go on the store. Buy whatever you need. The PlayStation Store sale, of course, running for another couple of weeks, and then it will have a refresh rolling in new deals. So be mindful of that. If you're looking at the PlayStation Store, store sale and you're looking at the deals and maybe you saw the date of January 17th or whatever, I believe it's ending, uh, look at the game pages themselves. Some of them know January 17th, some of them know that they're going to end on January 7th, so you really want to pay attention to that. Like, Injustice 2 Ultimate Edition, that's going to be running the entire duration of the sale. Last of Us Part 2, only until January 7th, so, like, I feel like some people are going to get duped by that, but uh, try to make that abundantly uh, clear for you guys. And Death Stranding 2 on Sony's new first-person shooter, potentially releasing in 2024. Links to everything in the description box below, as always. Thank you for watching. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below, and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.